Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Morgan. When it comes to having your beloved dog or cat spayed, you have options. Now we are aware that the thought of any surgery to your pet can cause a great deal of anxiety to you and your family. However, having your pet spayed is an important decision to make. Spaying your pet dramatically reduces the chance of breast cancer and infections of her uterus, not to mention preventing any unplanned pregnancies. In the past, there was typically only one type of spay procedure available to clients. This traditional spay procedure has been the same procedure that veterinarians have been performing for decades. Now, there is an exciting new alternative called the laparoscopic spay, or medically termed a laparoscopic ovariectomy. Laparoscopy is commonly used in human medicine and involves placing a specialized medical camera into the abdomen through a very tiny incision and another tiny incision used for the placement of surgical instruments. This procedure allows for greater magnification of the structures in the abdomen and is far less painful and far less traumatic for patients. We have been performing laparoscopies here at Morgan Animal Hospital since 1997 and we have recently started offering laparoscopic space to our patients. We have been thoroughly amazed at how well our patients feel and how much quicker they recover after the procedure compared to traditional spay. Well, let's meet Ziggy, who is an adorable seven-month-old Border Collie Retriever cross who came in to have a laparoscopic spay. Her pre-anesthetic blood work was normal and she was given a sedative and pain medication and started on intravenous fluids to help support her blood pressure during the anesthesia. We administered her initial injectable anesthetic and then provided gas anesthesia for the duration of the procedure. This is the same anesthetic protocol for traditional spays. A traditional spay requires a much larger incision and the ovaries are blindly stretched or torn from their ligament attachments. This is thought to be a source of post-operative pain for pets. Both ovaries and the entire uterus are removed to the level of the cervix. With a laparoscopic spay, the procedure requires two small incisions, typically 0.5 to 1 centimeter long. The first incision is for the medical camera, called the laparoscope, while the second is for the surgical instruments. So during Ziggy's procedure, her ovaries were identified and isolated with endoscopic forceps. A special vessel sealing device was used to cauterize, seal, and cut the ovarian blood vessels and ligament, thereby freeing the ovary from the rest of her uterus. Her ovaries are then retrieved and removed through the instrument incision. The uterus is left intact and in its natural state. Research has shown that there is no actual benefit to removing the uterus. Retaining the uterus will not increase the risk of breast cancer or uterine infections, nor will your dog have any heat cycles. In 2005, the Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association found that patients undergoing a laparoscopic spay were up to 65% less painful than those undergoing a traditional spay. Along with less pain, there was reduced tissue trauma and a significantly faster recovery time for our pets. Ziggy was monitored closely as she recovered from her surgery and was given additional pain medication to ensure her comfort. After a few hours, Ziggy was ready and excited to go home, back with her family again. Ziggy's owners were amazed <laughs> and relieved at how quickly she recovered and how fast she was back to her normal activities. There have been numerous medical advances in both human and veterinary medicine during my 18 years in practice. And the laparoscopic spay is the most impressive advancement that can make a really significant improvement in my patient's comfort after surgery. We are excited to be able to offer a less painful, minimally invasive alternative to traditional spays. So when scheduling your pet spay, be sure to consider your options and make the best choice for your pet. Thank you.